Thank you for purchasing my digital planner. Hopefully this video helps you to navigate through it easily. All of the buttons on this page are linked if you would like to connect with me. Once you have the file downloaded, it should be saved as a PDF. First thing you're going to do is you're going to locate where you saved it. You're going to tap the file and then you're going to see that it is a PDF. Tap the arrow in the top right corner and you're going to open in GoodNotes. I would definitely recommend purchasing GoodNotes. Then you are going to make sure to import as a new document. Do not import it to a current document if you already use GoodNotes. When you open it, you will see the first page, the cover. There are several options that I have created for you to choose from. So you can see there are very bright colors and you can click the waffle in the top left corner. And this is an index. You can easily navigate through all of your pages by using this, but to get started, we can pick our cover and then you're going to select and start just selecting the covers you do not want to keep. And once you have selected all of them, you are going to select the red delete button, the little trash can right there, and then you'll be left with the one that you choose. For this video, I selected the lime green one. It is nice and bright and you can add digital stickers to that. I will make a video for that later. So first thing to remember is that this is how you navigate or edit. So you need to make sure that the pencil is not selected. This helps you to touch anything in the planner and go to the wherever it is linked. So for example, I just, I touched the grade book and it took me to the grade book section. I can click any of the tabs on every single page and it will take me there. On the attendance page, I have the weeks linked so it's easily accessible. And on the assignments page and the gradebook page, I also have links. On the meetings, for, I have four sections that are linked with symbols so you can categorize your types of meetings. There is a lesson plan section as well as many blank checklists that you can duplicate. I have blank paper, lined paper, dot paper, and grid paper. Those can be duplicated as well. Another great thing is I have many extra templates, checklists, writing conferences, trackers for other subjects, notes. I have IEP pages, field trip planner, small groups, usernames and passwords, other sideways checklists, trackers, sleep trackers, blank trackers, brain dump, plus others that I didn't even mention. On the index, all of these blank buttons are customizable. Click the button and then you can click the pen tool and you can edit and you can name that section. You can tap the text box and once it's visible, you can actually write with your Apple Pencil and it will turn it into text. Whatever your default font is, it will turn it into the text. Then if you select your lasso tool, lasso around it, click resize, and then you can make it larger. Pretty simple. Next, select the pen tool again to turn off editing mode, and now you can navigate. Then you can select the pen tool again to edit and give this section the same title. So you can customize it using any of the templates that I have provided, or you can create your own. Again, you'll type in the title and you will select the lasso tool and resize, and then you can make it fit. What's great about this type of planner is you can actually take screenshots of PDFs you might need and paste it right onto blank pages and everything will be in one place. Now let's talk about the calendar. Each of these blank calendars are linked to that month. Once you are on the monthly view, each of those calendars at the top are linked as well. When you're in monthly view, if you notice each of the spots where you'd put the date, they are linked to the daily view. Everyone is linked to the daily view, okay? So when you go back into monthly view again, on the side, on the top left corner of every Sunday is a hidden link that will take you to the weekly view for that week. And on the weekly view, each day of the week is linked to that same day as well. 
So those are there to make it easier to navigate throughout the calendar. So now you can click the edit mode, click the pen tool, and then you can begin adding your text and dating your calendar. So if you have your own fonts, you can upload those fancy fonts. I will upload a video of how to do that as well. You can lasso and then resize. Back in the index, there are other sections we did not discuss. We have a to-do list, we have lesson plans, we have important dates where you can keep track of dates for the year. We also have expenses where you can keep track of classroom expenses. We have student information. I'm excited about this section because I have enough for 30 students and it is all linked. There's a roster, there's place for student birthdays. The arrow in the top left corner takes you back to the beginning of this section. You can keep track of their passwords and each numbered student is linked to a student information sheet and then a second sheet behind it for keeping track of anecdotal notes.